This Oak Park artist has been sharing her passion with the public for more than 30 years. She was the first artist to have her own studio in the Arts District, and you can check out some of the public art she has on display now at the Oak Park Sculpture Walk near Lake and Marion Street. Since graduating from the Art Institute of Chicago, she studied in Paris, London, and even Brazil. Joining us, founder of Whatever Comes to Mind Studio, love that name, Tia Atu. Thanks so much for being with us today, Tia. Thank you. Okay, so... When did you discover that you had artistic talent? Uh, actually, um, I was probably in seventh grade. Oh, wow. And um, my mother and father were never around, so I was just a bad child in school, and I was always getting in trouble. <laughs> <clears throat> and one day I had to stand up in the back. They wouldn't let me go out for recess for something I had done. And they sent me to the office, and the office was like, well, can you draw Mickey Mouse for our board? And I did. And they were so excited about it. And it was like the first time I had gotten some positive feedback, you know. Wow, yeah. And I really got a kick out of that. <laughs> By then, I'm on my way to high school. And I was like, well, I'll do art classes, you know. And my art teachers all would secretly um, put my work in shows and things like that. And it would come back. And they even took the trophies out of the case at the school and did a show for me and things like that. So... Other people actually created that, you know, which was great because had they not, I don't know where I'd be today mm -hmm. because that had really kept me grounded. <clears throat> if I had nothing, I had that and I was good at that. Yeah. And that was enough to really keep me going. Sometimes people say, well, art is a passion. It shouldn't be considered like your field that you're going into. Were you ever discouraged? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Every time I heard, told someone that I wanted to be an artist, they would be like, well, you can come to my house for bread and water anytime you wanted to. <laughs> and That's even, not what you want to hear. Yeah. Even, as, <laughs> yeah. even as an adult who's been doing it and successfully, not, I'm not super rich or anything, but I, I, have, a, I have a son. He's gone to college. Uh, um, uh, you know, yeah. I've done this. And a family. Still people mm -hmm. are saying, you know, they'll say, well, you know, Tia, if you went into commercial art, which was my, mm -hmm. my first, it's like you would be making so much money. And I said, but if I'm successful, if I'm considered successful tomorrow, that'll just erase from your head, you know, because mm -hmm. they feel like, oh, you know, if you would have done this, you'd be making a lot mm -hmm. more money. Yeah. And I feel like, no, I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I'll make the exact amount of money that I want to make. Mm -hmm. um, it just was a, a longer journey, and that's okay with me because that builds up so much in you. It's, yeah. Go ahead. And, oh, and Tia, I mean, what type of art do you do? Like, it th doesn't seem like you have one concentration. It seems no. like you do yeah. all kinds, you know, you're <laughs> Well, in I all. think you have to do to survive in it, you know? It's like I do paintings, drawings, sculptures, jewelry. I used to do puppet theater. Um, and though that way, and, and even my paintings, I do abstract and I do realistic, you know? Mm. Even that is very helpful because then, you know, there's not much a person can't say, hey, can you do this or can you do that? And I will say no, you know, usually I can't. And so that helps me get a lot of jobs. It, those murals are just fascinating mm -hmm. when you look Thank at the you. pictures of those. You. Can you tell us if we walk through Oak Park what we can see and how you got involved with that? I am all over Oak Park. <laughs> She's like, I am Oak Park. <laughs> 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 Well, there's a lot of my murals That's in this park. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Um, the last one that I did, um, it's for the Oak Park River Forest High School, and the Arts Council uh, wanted me to do a memorial for the students who have passed. Mm. And um, so I just finished that one, and it's very beautiful. Oh. And, you know, uh, but, but, you know, it has that message to it as well. Wow, Tia, what is that one sculpture made out of? It's that is not mine, and I do not oh, know. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well, right. But it looks like you were doing, what, what are your that sculptures is mine. like? That's yes. mine right there. Now, that is made out of steel and glass and plexiglass. That's made out of steel, okay. my butterfly chair. Yeah. And is that the medium that you normally work with in terms of your sculpture? Sculpture, I love steel. Okay. I, I took a welding class to be a certified welder. That uh -huh. is the piece of the, the um, memorial for the mm -hmm. students right there. Okay. <coughs> and then you've brought some um, items with you because you also make jewelry, which yes. you can't... I mean, that's so <laughs> incredible. You do it all. Well, with jewelry uh, in my studio, you know, some of the prices can get high. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to have something that 
anybody can afford coming into the studio. And they are little sculptures and pieces of art as far as I'm concerned as well. So mm -hmm. that way, every, you know, there's a, there's a price range that anyone can go in there and enjoy something from. What's the message you like to portray through your art? When I'm doing art outside work, murals and sculptures, all I'm concerned about is making someone happy. You know, mm -hmm. um, the colors, it's usually the colors that, you know, I'm trying to use. Um, when I'm in my studio, it's a little more heavier than that. You know, I'm dealing with the world and mm -hmm. what's going on and, and things like that. So outside work is just, it, you know, there's no religion or politics or anything like that. It's just, I just want people, when I was working on that, that mural for the students, um, these older women came by and just, not at the same time, but the thrill that they got of the colors and things like that, that's what it's all about to me. You know, it's like whatever their day is, when they walked past that, it was like, oh, you know, that's so nice. That's so I awesome. I really get a kick. And, I mean, because the world is so sad right now. Yeah, bring a little brightness yes. to it. Tia, Love thank it. you so much yeah. for coming in today. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you. I appreciate and it. And you can connect with Tia at Whatever Comes to Mind Studio, open Friday, Saturday, and Sundays at the address listed on your screen. You can also connect with her on Instagram at Tia at 2. Thanks, Thanks Tia. Yes.